hello guys welcome back to another Landroad studio tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how a fragment communicate with the parent activity so I will show you the concept with an example so we can start with a new Android studio project so we can create a new Android studio project specify your application name here I name it as fragment example uh, select empty activity so now here the project is created so first we can create a new fragment so right click the application and select fragment uh, select a blank fragment specify the fragment name here I name it as message fragment now here the fragment is created here is the layout of the new fragment so here the root element is a frame layout for reason as I'm going to modify that one into a constrained layout uh, no need of this text view delete that one okay now we need to add some user interface components to this layout so go to the design view I modify this one into blueprint first here I am going to modify the default margin into 16 dp now here I am going to add an edit text so select plain text drag it into this layout specify the constraint for the edit text a margin at the top margin at the left okay so now I'm going to add some button so select widgets drag a button into this layout now specify the constraints for the button margin at the left margin at the top now specify constraint for the baseline text okay now select the edit text now here it is wrap content change that one into match constraint create a constraint here also okay so now select the constraint layout change layout height into wrap content okay now here I need some constraint at the bottom also so create a constraint at the bottom side okay this is the layout for the fragment now we can do the design select the design view Uh, now first to select the edit text change the id of edit text uh, i change that one into txt message now we can modify the text delete the text and uh, now specify some hint for it enter a message now we need to modify some parameters of the button so select the button here the id of the button i change that one into bn uh, now we can modify the text on the button i simply change that one into send so this is the layout for the fragment okay so now we are going to add this fragment to the main activity so open project 
open the layout for the main activity open layout file for main activity open preview so here the root is a constrained layout so for reasons I'm going to modify that one into a relative layout here there is a text view is available remove that one sorry I actually I need a linear layout now specify the orientation for this layout I need vertical orientation so at the bottom we need to add the fragment so we have to place a container for the fragment so here I'm going to place a container for the fragment so here the container is a frame layout specify the width into match parent I specify height as 0 dp now specify the weight for the layout into 1 so this layout contain no item okay so now we need to specify an ID for this fragment container name it as fragment container now here I am going to add one more frame layout copy the frame layout Uh, change the ID of the frame I simply name it as activity frame change the weight into 2 so now we have two frame layout in this layout so now inside the frame layout here I am going to place some relative layout with this much parent height is also much parent okay so now inside the relative layout here I'm going to place a text view within the match parent it is wrap content and now specify some text on it message appear here Now specify some gravity for the message, specify the gravity into center. Now modify the text size, uh, text size into 20 dp. Now modify the text style, text style into bold. Now specify id for this text view. ID TXT TXT display message okay so now we can align the text view at the center of the parent so employee center in parent into true okay so here in this layout we have two frame layout the first frame layout is the container for the fragment and the second frame layout contain a text view so now we are going to add the fragment to the main activity so now we can close all these files now open main activity so from the main activity here I'm going to add the fragment to the main activity so check the condition if find the view by id or dot id dot fragment container is not equal to null in that case we can proceed and here check some condition if the activity is resume state or not if saved instant state not equal to null in that case simply return otherwise we can add the fragment so create an object of the fragment message fragment new message fragment so now we can add the fragment so create an object of fragment transaction 
always select fragment transaction from the support library get support fragment manager begin transaction now add the fragment specify the container id of the fragment it is fragment container now the second parameter is the fragment object here this message fragment and final one is a tag we can simply pass null for it okay now the fra fragment transaction is ready now we can commit the transaction so fragment transaction dot commit okay now we successfully add the fragment to the main activity so now we can test it so here we have a virtual device is ready uh, we can test our application now Okay, now here the application available on this virtual device. So if the user types some message here and if the user click the send button, we have to display the message on this text view. So here at uh, this area, this form is on a fragment and this text view on the activity. So if you want to display the message on this text view, we have to establish a communication between the fragment and the activity so that is our topic so now here i will show you how to establish the communication so it is not possible for two fragments to communicate each other so we can establish communication between fragments through interfaces so you have to specify some interfaces on the fragments and you have to implement that interface on the parent activity and you must implement the methods on the parent activity and through that methods the fragment can communicate with the activities and other fragments okay and now i will show you how to establish the communication so open the fragment and layout for the fragment okay so first here i'm going to create some variables we need some edit text or we need some button So for initializing these two variables here instead of returning directly here create some view object now we can return that view from here so before returning that view we can initialize our two variables first one is the edit text now find it this one txt message now we can initialize the button uh, find the view by id or dot id uh, here it is bf so now create some click listeners for the button so b and dot sorry here it is button dot set on click listener okay so for established communication here uh, you need to specify some interfaces so here i create an interface public interface on message read listener this is my interface and in that interface I am going to create some method public void on message read and for this method we need one parameter it's a string value it's a message okay. so this is our interface 
So first thing we have to check whether the interface is implemented by the parent activity. So you can achieve that on from the on attach method of this fragment. So here I'm going to overwrite one more life cycle method of fragment on attach. So here the parameter is a context. So first we need to get the activity instance so you can get it from the context so simply type cost that one into activity so here create a callback for the interface so here it is on message read listener i name it as message read listener now from this method from the on attach method we can get the callback for the interface so message read the listener is equal to activity so now i pass that one into on message read the listener so here we can check it whether the activity implemented it or not so put it on a try catch block now here specify the catch here the exception is class cast exception and from here throw the exception throw new class to cast exception activity dot to string must override on message read okay so now we need to implement this interface on main activity so open main activity so the main activity implements on message read listener so here we have to implement that method so here the method is on message read and here is the method with one parameter is a message so now the fragment communicate with the activity through this method now go to the fragment so when user enter a message and click the send to button <coughs> we have to call that method by using the callback interface here it is a message read listener uh, before going to call that method we have to get the message edit text get to text to string now we can send the message to the activity so message read listener load on message read and pass the message to the activity so the activity get the message on this method so here we have to create some variables for text to view and initialize that variable here text to view find the view by id uh, here it is txt display message ok now we can display the message using this text view here the parameter is message ok and that's it now we can test our application again run it again Uh, type a simple message here hello Prabish and send it and now the message appear on the activity so this is how we establish a communication between fragment and activity so in the next episode I will show you how to establish communication between two fragments I hope you understand this concept for getting more Android tutorial updates Please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.